The ratings for the Thursday and Friday shows were both 14, but Monday's rating dropped a point, clearly suggesting the novelty was wearing off. Did you know there are a number of psychics working as licensed brokers on Wall Street? Some of them counsel their clients by use of tarot cards. They're all pretty successful, even in a bear market and selling short. I met one of them last week and thought of doing a show around her, the wayward witch of Wall Street, something like that. But of course, if her tips were any good, she could wreck the market. So I called her this morning and asked her how she was on predicting the future. She said she was occasionally prescient. For example, she said, I just had a fleeting vision of you sitting in an office with a craggy middle-aged man with whom you are or will be emotionally involved. And here I am. She does all this with tarot cards? No. This one operates on parapsychology. She has trance-like episodes and feels things in her energy field. I think this lady could be very useful to you, Max. In what way? Well, you put on a news show, and here's somebody who can predict tomorrow's news for you. Her name, aptly enough, is Sybil. Sybil the soothsayer. You could give her two minutes of trance at the end of a Howard Beale show, say, your once a week Friday, which is suggestively occult, and she could oraculate. Then next week, everyone tunes in to see how good her predictions were. Maybe she could do the weather. Your network news show is going to need some help, Max. If it's going to hold, Beale doesn't do the angry man thing well at all. He's too uh, kvetchy. He's being irascible. We want a prophet, not a curmudgeon. He should do more apocalyptic doom, I think.